Bonimer Klein reporting live to you from the Tidewater Community College's Physics Laboratory. Here we have Tommy Story, the mastermind behind tapes from all these tape series is David Copperfield. Tommy, the audience wants to know why are we doing this? Uh, we did a couple for the bad name. What got you started? Oh, quite the hall. And as you can see, this is the equipment that he's using. Let me get it in focus here. Slides by the very generous Michael Clark. So, where is the, uh, your client, Billy Page? Is he around? I'd like to interview him. I think he's in the other room. Okay. Well, while we're waiting on, let me interview, let me ask you some questions. Uh, what got you started? Oh, a couple of people, though. When I went to see him at Fletcher Hall, and uh, he uh, said, go on the by six. And that got me started, because he kind of screwed me up. And then, uh, I just made a foot tape, and that's what the series was. And you've been go going on the series for how long now? Uh, since February. That's about, uh, I would say, around 17 months. And how does your client feel? Billy Payne, the star of all the success. Say something, Billy. Yes, Billy. The audience wants to know your opinion on these tape series of David Copperfield. Hey, Rocky, what can you pull right out of that? Yeah, wrong one. David Copperfield tape? Uh, That's what the audience wants to know. Anyone. Um, I don't like the idea of these. Are you sure you're recording this time? I'm recording. The audience is seeing this live. Okay. I don't mind you guys having fun with Copperfield, but you guys are going too far. How so? You make him like he's, he's sick in the head, and he's not. Tommy, what is your reaction on Billy's reaction? Uh, I'm going to say that right a bit. Your comments on Billy's reaction. Oh, uh, I'm going to kick out of it. Oh, take your right hand. Any more comments, Bill? Take your right hand and put it on the left. And put it on the left. What'd you say again? Any comments? That's all hard. It's all because when he heard, and when I heard, but I, we could have misheard because you said, that you thought he said, uh, uh, I was only off by six, but it sounded like he said the other thing, which, which kind of made him, Tommy kind of gross out, and ever since then he's had fun with the tapes, making Copperfield go crazy on tapes and have his fun. Did anybody help you with these series? Oh, um, tape five and tape six, Michael Klein helped me with it. And, and obviously he's not here at the moment. No, but uh, tape one through uh, four, I did myself. Okay. Uh, Michael Klein just went to the room to check what's up there. Well, I think he's working on the computer. Before what I, do I watch you for? Before I went, we have a bystander here who's watching this. No, <laughs> watching this. Any yeah. comments? Uh, um, I don't know. Um, I've been with these fellows for so long that it's hard to tell what he's going to do. It's like they're on the I noticed he's been an expert for years, and I think if you want to get into audio production, that you should check with him and Mike Klein. But so far, they've been the best that I've heard and seen of so far. So you're saying that they're unpredictable? Yes, that's true. They are unpredictable at times. Is this true? Uh, yeah. Would you consider yourself unpredictable? He's not even looking at the camera. Uh, yes. Billy, there's a spider on you. Oh, yeah. Before I met Tommy, Tommy's favorite magician was Doug Henny. But then when I showed him Copperfield, then after school, and then after going to the magic show, the rest is history. He likes Copperfield now. But I like any magician. I mean, I went to see, I heard the, I woke up, I was half asleep, I heard the word uh, with, with Ricky Dees tonight. They said, the magic of Aldini. And I, I come to find out it's just a dog who uh, tells fortune by eating dog food. But I didn't know. Tells you the 
Rock goes are going to win. The Grey Aldinian has the word Redini on it. But sometimes, usually there's a magician that is right, like I mentioned, Kmart and all of them. But Copperfield, you know, and all the others, Tommy. Well, let them know if you're boring the audience. Okay, let me uh, get a close view of the really equipment don't. here. There's the turntable. And there's the, what we have here, it's an amplifier, cassette deck equalizer, the mixer CD player, and this is the, what appears to be half of a boom box, which consists of CD player, AM, FM, cassette, all built in, and way back over Don't there, the man, uh, yeah, way back over here is our little compressor to help, modif to help keep the signals intact. And where's your Walkman? Okay, well that takes care of the interview. I think remember you, you can have this equipment for $59.95 in care of Michael Klein's Incorporation of Audio and Visual Effects. I don't think he wants to sell it. Well, thank you guys for the interview. It's uh, Tommy Story and Billy Page's client, and we have an innocent bystander. I don't know where he disappeared to. But this is Vladimir Klein reporting live from the physics laboratory at Tidewater Community College at the Federal Campus.